Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you what I did to my game, The Sims 4, on August 19th when we did the update. How I fixed it, we are going to go into the search bar here. We're going to go select documents. We're going to go into electronic arts, The Sims 4. We're going to go drop down to mods. That's the mods folder, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this and we're going to drag and drop this mods folder right on your desktop. That's how you remove your mods from your game and CCs because you place them in there. Now at this point, you already moved your mods folder to the desktop. Now let's open EA. Now here's very important you are going to look for your library and you have your Sims 4. You see these three dots, you click this and you repair your game. Now my game is fine. You click repair without the mods folder that you just took out and you moved it to the desktop. Repair your game. Once you repair a game, we're going to start loading in. And now we load our game. And now you are on your main menu. So what we're going to do here is going to go on the top right side. There's these three dots next to your name. You're going to go to game options. You're going to go to other. Make sure before you add any mods or any CCs, make sure these two are checked. Okay. And what I do also is I view content, custom content, I click this and I make sure I have this on the show at startup so I can know if whatever I installed, it's in here. As you can see, this is the mod section and you'll know whatever you downloaded or installed, you can go through it and look for it. I mean, it's a pretty long list depending on what you have, but this also is a really, really good help for me. So I also check that. So these enable custom content and mods, check that. Script mods allowed, check that. Make sure you check this too. This will be all, also a helpful tip for you. Then we apply the changes. That is it. Now that we've done that, you're going to exit here. Exit the game. Yes. Now that you're done taking out your mods folder, it's on your desktop. You already checked your script mods in your game options. So now what's our next step? Okay, we're going to exit all of this and we're gonna go through each one if you want to in your mods and add one by one and see which one is broken. You will then know once you add one or two, I would prefer two or three maybe that way you know which one you've put in and say, okay, let me go back in there and remove this one because it's not starting up. If you put in three and all of them go through and you start up the game, guess what? Everything is perfect. So that's all you have to do is add them one by one. And what I also did, since my mod list was short and my CCs was short, I removed everything and I started from scratch. I knew the ones that I really needed and I paid attention and I went back. I also went to Scarlet's Realm. That website helps. It tells you what has been updated and what mods have been broken. Go to scarletsrealm.com or search it in Google and that will show you what has been updated and what is still broken. So I hope this video helps you. My name is Michelle. Please subscribe, like the video, save the video. And if something still goes wrong, I do have TikTok. Go ahead and check me out on my lives. And I will try to help you the best way that I can. It did take a few times, a few tries for me. It would lead always to the main menu of the worlds. But I went in at least four times and did that and it let me in. So repair your mods, check them, 
go through them, or you know what, you can start fresh. I know that's difficult, but I did it. It could start a new fresh and everything could be new. So you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching.